Disputes really is over uh, the council doing away with the grade three role. Uh, it's a critical safety role. The grade three basically is in charge of the back of the back of the vehicle. Um, helps with the reversing, uh, um, liaises with the general public, and makes sure that basically that um, no, no no one gets run over. That it's a, you know, the back of the wagon. The council wants to delete the position and downgrade us to a grade two. Put a CCTV in the cab basically. Which is obviously more cost effective and it resulted in a loss of between three and a half thousand to five thousand pounds a year. They're just quite happy to have two grade twos in the back of the vehicle on just under fifteen thousand pounds a year, doing away with that critical role of, of the grade three, put the CCTV in the cabin and just let the driver get on with it. Since this job has become on wheelie bins, because it used to be a bag system before, but because it's now on wheelie bins, you spend more time on the back of the vehicle on the roads now. So, you know, so obviously you have the in Birmingham, obviously, it's a, it's a uh, densely populated city and it's very, very dangerous. We've had a, a few accidents where basically cars have collided in the back of the wagon, resulting with a couple of lads. Um, with, uh, I think they had a crushed spleen, um, broken legs. The bigger picture is that they want to do with the ride the grave freeze because next year when they make more cuts, because they will make more cuts, as domino effect is, get with the grave freeze on the bins now and they'll go across the whole organisation. They will do away with all the grave freeze in the whole of the organisation. People who work in social care, people who work in libraries, gym instructors or, and so forth, they will come next year and they will eradicate the grave freeze there within people as well. Street plenty. And also maybe the grave four as well. We have a lady named Stella Manzi who's been brought in as interim chief executive. If you look at her portfolio and where she's been in the past, she's anti charge unionist and she's a strike breaker. She's took this very, very personally, this, this dispute, and she's, she's set herself on destroying the union and destroying the grade three status. And you've got a classic case here of uh, paid officials bullying elected councillors. Stella Manzi and the cabinets on that particular day when this deal was broken, they knew. They knew where Mr Clancy was, what he was doing, what he was up to, and who he was meeting. He was meeting with ACAS and Howard Beckett of the United Unions. They knew that was what he was up to and what was going on, and yet none of them rang him and told him any difference. They've got this thing about an equal pay claim. It is a red herring. There hasn't been no equal pay claim since 2011. I've been offered, by the way, £2,463 redundancy pay um, for, for eight years. So that affects me, so I can either um, take that and they'll be out of a job, so they, that, that amount of money will go into my accounts with my P45, except for the post. So that's one option. The other option would be to take the free to a two, which is a result of a uh, £4,000 loss in, in the salary. Or then they keep talking about no one needs to be redundant, there's jobs out there, great free jobs out there. Now let me just tell you about these great free jobs. These great, these great free jobs that they keep harping on about, basically, are jobs, they're superficial jobs. They don't exist. Um, what I mean by that is the skill sets are just unachievable. Unachievable. So then if you if you go for one of these grade three jobs and you're successful, yeah, and they eradicate the grade three now, next year, I'll come back for you again and that's make me done this anyway. That the lads here, I voted Labour. I voted Labour uh, in, the, in, the, in the election, just gone. And I have to say to you now, I feel so bitter and, 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 and let down, um, you know, a Labour council, a Labour council full of Blairites with a right-wing agenda, a Labour council. How can they be allowed to get away with it? You know, it's, it's absolutely disgusting. And I would say to the people out there, you know, you know, I mean, Corbyn, McDonald's, you know, they stand with the McDonald's workers, which is fair enough. You know, it struggles everywhere and they need to be supported. But we're struggling here. And we've had nothing from um, John McDonald, we've had nothing from Jeremy Corby, nothing, nothing whatsoever. So we feel a little bit let down about this, yeah. You know, we've, we've, even like um, Labour MPs within the city, in, the, in, our, in Birmingham City Council, not one, not one have been down to the picket line showing any solidarity support.